Welcome uh, to this video now about, uh, where we're still talking about algebraic fractions. And um, you can get two types, yeah? In my previous videos, I've showed you how to combine two fractions, yeah? So make sure you have seen those. And now we are um, uh, getting to the moment that we're going to simplify them, okay? And uh, before we do so, we need to understand, yeah, what is simplifying, yeah? So very quickly, what, what, what is simplifying a fraction, yeah? So for instance, in the past, you would be asked, uh, let's say we have um, uh, 8 over 12, and you will be asked to simplify the fraction. And then some of you are going to say, well, that is yeah, 2 over 3. Okay? Some of you are able to say that straight away. But why is it 2 over 3? Well, why does it simplify to 2 over 3? Because you took out, and that is important, you took out the highest common factor. Okay? I'm just going to write that down the highest common factor. That is what simplifying is all about. Because 8 is actually 2 times 4, and 12 you can also write as 3 times 4, and then by taking out the highest common factor, you'll be left with 2 over 3, okay? So that is what simplifying is all about. And the same thing counts when you are going to simplify algebraic fractions, okay? And I have three types of questions here, uh, and then I have one more video after this one with some more example questions, yeah? Now the first one, 5a squared over 7a. Now, the highest common factor of all terms is what you want to get out when you are simplifying. Now, 5a squared, if you want, you don't have to, but just now I'm going to write down, that's actually 5 times a times a, yeah, over 7a. Good. If I look at, let's say, the numbers, yeah, the coefficients, is there a common factor? 5 over 7. Is there a number you can divide both by? I don't think so. Yeah? So I can just leave 5 and the 7 there. But I do have, when I look at the letters, some common factors, an A and an A. So let's get rid of those. So what is left? I'll have an A at the top left. Yeah, so 5A over 7 is the simplified version of that fraction. Now, the second question looks almost the same, yeah? But it's not, yeah? Because there's a plus one there in the numerator. And I've written this one down because is there a highest common factor? Can I simplify uh, this question further? Well, some of you will say, well, there's an A there and there's an A there. Yeah, but hang on a minute. That common factor needs to be in all the terms, if you like, yeah? So the one should also have an A if you want to get rid of an A. So is there a common factor if you look at all these three terms? No, there's not. There is not a common factor. Now, if I would change the question, so in a diff, uh, for a different question, and I'll change that 1 into 1a, now again, simplify the fraction, yes. Now there's a common factor. Uh, let me write it out again, 5a a plus a. Yeah, you cannot add those, by the way. They're not like terms. The power is different. Over 7a. And now I could say, well, that is... An A here, an A there, and an A there. Yeah, that's the common factor. All the terms have that factor. So it's 5A. This one didn't, didn't disappear. Eh? Plus 1 over 7. That would be the answer then. Yeah, but be careful. That common factor needs to be in all the terms. All right. But now moving on to this question. Yeah, because these are the typical IGCSE or GCSE exam questions. And they will ask you, well, simplify this fraction. Yeah, and what I've just said, yeah, the common factor needs to be part in all the terms. And that is a little bit silly because I have an x here, but I don't have an x there. I have an x and x, but no x there. Yeah? So some of you will say, well, it's not possible. There, there's, there's no common factor. Yeah, a 4 and a 12, there's a common factor 4, but not for the 7 or the 1s. Yeah? So the man who made your exam must be wrong. Well, they're not. Okay? They're not wrong because what do you have to do for these questions? Yeah? So you should be telling yourself, oh, hang on a minute. For these types of questions, yeah, when I am asked to simplify an algebraic question and there is a quadratic expression, I have to factorize that expression. So factorize the expression and in my other playlist I show you exactly how to do that. XX, two numbers, multiply 12 and if you add those two numbers you should get 7. So you think about that perhaps on a piece of scrap paper you work that out and I get a 4 and a 3. Quickly check that, x squared, 3x plus 4x, 7x, 4 times 3 is 12. Again, different playlist, I uh, explain that in more detail. 
And when you factorize it, then you will always notice, ah, now there is a common factor. X plus 4 at the top, X plus 4 at the bottom, eh? in the numerator X plus 4, in the denominator X plus 4. So my final answer, a simplified version, is 1 over X plus 3. Okay, so with those types of questions, you should be telling yourself, alarm bell should be ringing, I have to factorize, in this case, the denominator. Excellent. Go to my next video, another example question, uh, two of them just uh, of this format. And uh, you can also check my site explainingmaths.com for more resources. Yeah, I'll see you later.